Chapter 60A exempts certain individuals, organizations, and entities from the motor vehicle excise on one or all of the vehicles they own and register. In addition, the Federal Service Members Civil Relief Act makes certain active duty military personnel exempt from the excise on the vehicles they own and register. All of the individuals exempt under state law from the motor vehicle excise may also qualify for exemption for vehicles they lease. However, exempt organizations and entities are not exempt for vehicles they lease, except for certain charitable organizations that are not degree granting or diploma awarding educational institutions. Note that for a leased vehicle, the excise is generally assessed to the owner, lessor, not the lessee. Expenses incurred by the lessor during the lease, including excises and other taxes, are passed on to the lessee under the terms of the lease. Also note that unlike property taxes, there is no fixed exemption eligibility date. The owner can meet the qualifications at any time during the excise calendar year. The owner must apply for exemption. The same deadline applies to both abatement and exemption applications and the same procedures apply to processing the applications. We will now look at each of the available exemptions in detail. Certain organizations and entities are exempt from excise. The United States, Commonwealth and its political subdivisions are exempt from excise on all vehicles they own and register. Vehicles leased by them are subject to the excise. Charitable and religious organizations that qualify for exemption from personal property taxes are exempt from excise on all the vehicles they own and register. Vehicles leased by a religious organization are subject to the excise. However, charitable organizations that do not grant degrees or reward diplomas qualify for exemption from excise for an excise calendar year on the vehicles they lease if one, the lease covers that full calendar year, and two, the vehicles are owned and registered by a lessor engaged in the business of leasing motor vehicles. Nonprofit educational institutions are not exempt from excise on the vehicles they lease. There are also motor vehicle excise exemptions for individuals. Under Chapter 60A, individuals are exempt from excise for one vehicle they own and register or lease for their personal non-commercial use. The exemption is not prorated for any reason. The individual who co-owns or leases the vehicle with a spouse or another receives a full exemption. Applications for exemption for individuals can also be filed by the individual spouse if the spouse jointly owns or leases the vehicle. In addition, if an individual qualified for an exemption in an excise calendar year, but did not apply before passing away, the decedent's surviving spouse or personal representative of the estate may apply for that year. An individual who is not a veteran is exempt from the excise assessed on one vehicle that the individual owns and registers or leases for personal, non-business use if the individual has one of the following disabilities, has actually lost both legs or both arms, has a permanent loss of use of both legs or both arms, or has permanent legal blindness in both eyes. A disabled or blind non-veteran who qualifies and owns or leases more than one vehicle may have the exemption applied to the vehicle of choice. The surviving spouse of the qualifying non-veteran does not qualify for the exemption. A veteran is exempt from the excise assessed on one vehicle the veteran owns and registers or leases for personal, non-business use if the veteran was honorably discharged from peacetime or wartime military service and the veteran has specific disabilities due to that service. The veteran must have actually lost at least one foot or hand, have a permanent loss of use of at least one foot or hand, or have permanent legal blindness in at least one eye. These service-connected disabilities must be certified by the United States Department of Veterans Affairs. Alternatively, the veteran must have a permanent service-connected disability as determined by the Medical Advisory Board, or MAB, within the Registry of Motor Vehicles. The MAB determination is evidenced by 1. Disabled Veteran or DV Plate, or 2. A MAB letter notifying the veteran of its determination. A disabled or blind veteran who qualifies 
and owns or leases more than one vehicle may have the exemption applied to the vehicle of choice. The surviving spouse of the qualifying veteran does not qualify for an exemption. Military personnel who are domiciliaries of Massachusetts are ordinarily subject to the excise on vehicles they own and register or lease. However, if the service member is on active duty outside Massachusetts for at least 180 consecutive days of the excise calendar year, the service member is exempt from the excise on one motor vehicle owned and registered or leased by the member. The 180-day requirement does not apply if the service member is wounded or killed in an armed conflict. As with the other exemptions for individuals, a service member who qualifies and owns or leases more than one vehicle may have the exemption applied to the vehicle of choice, and the service member's surviving spouse does not qualify for an exemption. In cities or towns that accept a local option excise exemption, a veteran who was a prisoner of war is exempt from the excise for one vehicle the veteran owns and registers or leases for personal, non-business use if the United States Department of Veterans Affairs or the Veterans Discharge documents that the veteran was held as a prisoner of war. Your city or town must accept this exemption by vote of its legislative body subject to local charter. The exemption takes effect the January 1 after the calendar year the acceptance is voted. As with the other exemptions for individuals, the veteran who was a prisoner of war who qualifies and owns or leases more than one vehicle may have the exemption applied to the vehicle of choice. However, the veteran's surviving spouse does qualify for an exemption. If the surviving spouse remarries, the exemption terminates. Under the Federal Service Members Civil Relief Act, non-domiciliary service members are exempt from the motor vehicle excise on all vehicles they own and register, so long as they are not used in a business or trade, that is, they are for personal use. For you to abate, the service member must furnish a letter from the commanding officer stating that the service member is domiciled in another state and stationed in Massachusetts or elsewhere away from the domicile due to military orders. Vehicles owned and registered by the service member's spouse are also exempt if the spouse is domiciled in the same state as the service member and is in Massachusetts solely to be with the service member, as certified by the service member's commanding officer. The RMV issues general registration number plates to persons or businesses in certain occupations who may be exempt from motor vehicle excise on all of their vehicles. Special general registration plates, also known as Section 5 plates, are currently issued to 1. Motor vehicle manufacturers, 2. Motor vehicle dealers, 3. Farmers, 4. Motor vehicle repairers, and 5. Owner contractors. Vehicles owned and registered by a manufacturer, dealer, or farmer under a general registration are exempt from the motor vehicle excise. Vehicles owned and registered by a repairer, or owner contractor are subject to the motor vehicle excise. Note that mobile construction cranes and other special mobile equipment operated with owner operated plates are not subject to motor vehicle excise. The reason is that the cranes and equipment are not motor vehicles under state laws governing motor vehicle registration. However, the registry issues the plate to allow the movement of the cranes and equipment around job sites. It is not intended that the equipment will be driven on public roads like passenger and other vehicles. Although the cranes and equipment are exempt from excise, they could be taxable personal property unless exempt under some other provision. For example, they are the stock in trade as leased equipment of a corporation principally engaged in leasing. Motor vehicles operated with manufacturer or dealer plates are exempt from the regular motor vehicle excise. Instead, motor vehicle dealers are assessed a special excise of $100 for every dealer registration plate issued to them by the Registry of Motor Vehicles. Motor vehicles with dealer and manufacturer plates may be operated for sale and other business reasons by any person. Motor vehicles with dealer plates may also be used for personal use by a dealer, a dealer's spouse, 
A co-owner who holds at least a 40% proprietary interest in a motor vehicle dealership, a co-owner's spouse, and dealership employees who work at least 20 hours a week for the dealership and whose duties involve the sale of motor vehicles. Farm machinery and other non-passenger farm vehicles operating with farm plates are exempt from motor vehicle excise provided there is no personal use of the vehicles. The owner farmer who has a general registration and has been issued farm plates must apply for the exemption and must use the vehicles displaying the plates solely for farm purposes. Personal use makes the owner subject to assessment of a regular excise on the vehicle and a $100 penalty. Note that farm tractors do not meet the definition of a motor vehicle for registration purposes. They may be subject to a personal property tax or farm animal and machinery excise depending on ownership and other factors. Let's review what you have learned in this lesson. First, governments, charitable organizations, and religious organizations are exempt from the motor vehicle excise on all vehicles they own and register. Only certain charitable organizations are also exempt on vehicles they lease. The organization cannot be an educational institution that grants degrees or awards diplomas and the lease must cover the entire excise calendar year. Second, motor vehicle excise exemptions are available to individuals who have specific disabilities and some Massachusetts active duty personnel. There is also a local option exemption for veterans who were prisoners of war. These individuals may have the exemption applied to one vehicle they own and register or lease for personal, non-business use. Under the Federal Service Members Civil Relief Act, Active duty personnel and their spouses who are domiciled in the same state other than Massachusetts and are living here because of military orders are exempt from excise on all vehicles they own and register so long as they are not used for business purposes. Third, some, but not all, owners of vehicles registered under a general registration and operated with special plates are exempt from the motor vehicle excise. Manufacturers, dealers, and farmers are exempt if they meet certain requirements. However, dealers are assessed a special excise of $100 per dealer plate they have been issued by the Registry of Motor Vehicles. Repairers and owner contractors are not exempt. And finally, applications for excise exemptions are due by the same deadline and are processed the same way as applications for excise abatements, as discussed in Lesson 2.